Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Professor Dan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the Systems Engineering Plan. What is a Systems Engineering Plan, or what I call a SEP? A Systems Engineering Plan is a living document that details the execution, management, and control of the technical aspects of an acquisition program from conception to disposal. The SEP outlines how the systems engineering process is applied and tailored to meet objectives for each acquisition phase. The SEP captures a program's current and evolving systems engineering strategy and its relationship with the overall program management effort. The SEP should include the process and criteria for updating the document. What is the purpose of the systems engineering plan? The purpose of the SEP is to help program technical managers develop their systems engineering approach, providing a firm and well-documented technical foundation for the program. A rigorous technical planning process forces thoughtful consideration and debate, allows for integration and coordination of technical activities across all levels of management, and results in a sound systems engineering strategy commensurate with the program's technical issues, life cycle phasing, and overall objectives. How is a systems engineering plan developed? The program manager is responsible for the development of the SEP. The SEP should be developed with the chief systems engineer and other subject matter experts. The document is considered a living document and is updated continually throughout a program. Use the outline located on the ActNotes webpage to help with the development of your systems engineering plan. There are five areas that a systems engineering plan should address. These areas are Program technical requirements The SEP should define how the program will manage all requirements, statutory, regulatory, derived, and certification. Technical staffing and organization planning The SEP should show how the program will structure and organize the program team to satisfy requirements. Technical baseline management The SEP should establish a technical baselines approach. Technical review planning The SEP should show how the program will manage the technical effort, including the technical baselines through event-based technical reviews. And finally, integration with overall management of the program, the SEP should link systems engineering to other management efforts, including the acquisition strategy, test planning, sustainment planning, configuration management, risk management, and life cycle management. How is the systems engineering plan integrated with the defense acquisition process? A draft SEP update is due for the development request for proposal release decision point and approved at milestone B. After that, the SEP is updated as needed to reflect technical progress achieved to date and to reflect changes in the technical approaches stemming from the findings and results of the technical reviews, program reviews, acquisition milestones, or other program decision points. The SEP is updated and submitted for milestone decision authority approval at each program milestone. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Systems Engineering Plan. For more information please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ActNotes.